Alright, what's going on guys? So I literally just woke up like five, ten minutes ago. It's 11 like 30 I think. Let me check. Yeah, it's 11 30 in the morning. I haven't even had a meal yet. I haven't even had a drop of water. But I want to give you guys a physique, uh, a accurate physique update of where my cut's been going. Woke up around 188.8 and then 14.0% body fat today. But the scale's body fat's not that accurate. So I just used it to track if it goes up or down. Yeah, like I said, just woke up so my voice is like dead. Like, I usually don't move or start talking for like at least an hour. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a nice little physique update before I even start this video, just so it's accurate, like I said. So, well, this is morning. I'm not shredded by any means. 188.8, 14%. Zero pump yesterday. <sighs> Alright, so now I'm just gonna chill, wake up, eat breakfast. Probably not gonna take you guys through all my meals, but you might see a couple of them. But yeah, so I'll put this video back up in a little bit. Once I'm up and actually like coherent, so yeah. All right, so it's been like three, four hours since I last clip, and I just want to touch on that really quick. My room has the absolute most natty lighting you could find. Like it's basically like being outside, so it's kind of really hard to like tell and monitor like my physique and my change like personally. So that's why I might do one at the gym today when I go. But yeah, basically I've been down, um, like down like five and a half, almost six pounds since I started. I've been coming for for 28 days, so it's not too bad. I've been going up and down in weight, so it's not like I'm just comp constantly dropping weight. I haven't really lost that much muscle mass, but the last two workouts I've had have been the worst lifts of my entire life. I don't know if it's because of being in a deficit, it's finally getting to me, like cars being lower and everything like that, or if it's just mental, or I just needed an off day. So I took one yesterday, so I was also like really flat today. But uh, yeah, basically, my calories still at 2,500, still the last, still the same they were in the last uh, IFYM video I did. I'm not going to change them for like a couple more weeks or until like the scale like just stops moving for like four days consistently because my body's like reacting really well to this cut and like I've seen a lot of change like in my vascularity, my main fat like holding source, I word that really weird is like my core and my lower back though as you guys can probably tell, like my arms and like my shoulders don't really hold that much fat. So just genetically, it's in my core, which kind of sucks because I need to diet down really low to get like abs and everything. I have like a little bit of definition in my core, but not too much. But I'm not really gonna worry about that much because lifelong journey, only on like two and a half years, so got a long way to go. But yeah, my physique is definitely at like one of the best it's ever been right now, which I'm super proud of, and I'm super proud of that I like stuck to my cut like strictly and didn't cheat at all yet. Like I've been 28 days sticking my macros getting all my calories in like perfectly which is really really nice and also real quick oh shit it's downstairs but I did change up my protein I don't know if any of you guys really care but you might um, I'm taking BPI's best protein the s'mores flavor absolutely banging not sponsored by BPI which would be sick if I was but I'm not but yeah that protein's probably like top two my favorite I've ever had even with water it tastes like really really good so I definitely recommend if you guys need a protein on a cut get some BPI not sponsored like I said, but let's make it happen, so drop a sub if you're not. And uh, yeah, so today, it's Memorial Day, Monday, hope you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend, and took an off day yesterday, so today I have a push day, going to Attilus, because my gym here sucks, and it closed a half hour ago, it's 2.30, 2 so they closed at 2 o'clock, which is kind of crazy. <sighs> so luckily, Attilus closes at 8, because... Yeah, you guys know, like, I do not lift in the morning. I do not lift before, like, 6 p.m. ever because I'm so, like, used to this groove I've been in where I just lift at 8 or, like, lift late at night, get all my calories in, especially on a cut, so I can have all the energy possible. And, yeah, so my push day today, I think I have a top set of 5 and then a 4x12, which I think is the same thing I filmed my last push day, but it just happened I'm filming today and I got a push day, so... Yeah, tomorrow I might film my pull day and go into depth on sumo and everything like that, why I switched and all that stuff. Still doing a little conventional work, but <clears throat> most of it is sumo because I really want to master it and just get super good at it and pull like 
super heavy weight like really quickly also thinking about maybe maybe maxing in like a week or something as long as like my workouts this week go perfectly and I, like i don't feel like absolute shit and if i do i'm gonna incorporate a refeed day just to replenish all the glycogen in my muscles and everything and bump up my carbs a little bit so i have more energy yeah so i'm about to eat another meal and then i'm gonna go to the store i'm gonna film that i'm not really gonna buy too much stuff but i do need like a couple little things for my cut like fruit and stuff like that more seasoning all that stuff so I'm going to bring you guys on that little shopping haul too, and then I'll probably come back home, go to the gym, absolutely destroy Push Dad Attilus. It's probably going to be packed because it's Memorial Day weekend, and they close at 8, so it's not like everyone, well, eight's not too bad actually. So people probably went in the morning or whatever, but it doesn't really matter. Super excited to film today, like, I've been wanting to film so bad, but I didn't want to film my shitty workouts for you guys, because like... Not that I don't want to show you guys bad workouts, because they do happen to everyone, and like you need to have bad workouts to have good ones. But I just like was not in like the mental state to film, whatever. So I just did it, got through it, worked my ass off to get through last week because it sucked lifting wise. Hopefully this week's better. I'm gonna absolutely destroy it today. And real quick, I do want to show you guys a new pre I got too. Taking a little break from ESP, I got this stuff called Shadow X. Super sketchy label, so that's why I bought it. It has like 300 milligrams caffeine and it has a shit ton of blends in it, which I don't really like too much. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Uh, no, it's not focusing. But yeah, I'll probably throw the nutrition facts up on the screen if you guys are interested in this. Probably like my second, fa uh, third favorite pre ever. My first is ESP, obviously, then God of Rage, which you can't find anywhere because I think they redid the whole uh, formula with it, so I can't find the old formulated one with the 1-3 in it, which sucks. And then this stuff, which is pretty good, and it was like 35 bucks or something like that at uh, this place called Hard Hardcore Nutrition by me, which is basically like rock bottom. But they have like a little different pre's. But yeah, I've been rambling so much. This clip is six minutes long. And also, guys, drop in the comments if like you like when I sit down and talk like this. Because I feel like I do this a lot in like every video. Because like it's been shitty weather, so I don't really have anything to do besides sit, talk, and then lift, and then come home and close out the video. But yeah, soon, maybe today, I'm going to get some filthy drone footage for you guys. I'm literally going to mass my drone. Trying to plan, like, going somewhere this summer to film, like, going on vacation somewhere. Hoping, hoping California. I doubt it's going to happen, but I wanted to go to California, like, my entire life. And I finally, like, am starting to actually be able to, like, afford going by myself. And going and just going to, like... Bottle of Brigade and everything like that, and yeah, I, I gotta talk about that later. This clip is way too long, so yeah, drop a comment if you guys like when I talk and sit down like that and talk one-on-one -on -one with you guys. My hands are fucking fine everywhere. But yeah, so I guess I'm gonna eat my last meal. Yeah, a little shoulder striations coming in, but I'll uh, eat my last meal, and then I'll pick this video back up probably at the store when I'm picking up, and then I'll go over everything I got there, then it's time to lift, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so just got to Acme. I'm gonna pick up a few things like I said before. It's been a couple of hours. This is the last stop before I go to the gym. But I'm not gonna pick up like too much stuff. I'm probably just gonna get like some fruit and then like some other stuff like zero calorie drinks and everything and maybe some other things to help me on this cut. But yeah, so I'm gonna film a little bit in there. It's still really weird talking around like people that aren't in the gym. Like in the gym, I can talk to my camera whenever. Like I don't feel weird doing it anymore. But outside of the gym, still really weird. Still gotta get used to it, which I will over time, but yeah. So I'm gonna go into Acme, pick up stuff, film a little bit in there, and then I'll talk about what I got after. All right, so I already at the gym, didn't film anything in Acme. Just really went really fast so I could get here on time because I close in two hours and I live for like two and a half to three. But yeah, like I said before, I have a push day today. It looks pretty crowded, so I'm hoping I get the fat pad. Dave took the nice bar, so I have to use one of the shitty metal ones or the shitty uh, silver ones. So yeah, I have a top set of five with two, 40 I think and then a uh, 4x12 with 180 which is going to absolutely suck Hopefully I have a good lift. Hopefully I feel energized and whatever pre-workout kicking in Gonna go inside warm up whatever. I don't have too much time and yeah I'll pick this video back up probably sometime around bench Alright so I got 135 on just finished warming up. It's super fucking loud in here with all the music and all the people So I hope you guys can hear me. Probably gonna leave benching raw and then we'll film like a uh, an edit with the music and all that stuff so I have a 240 for five, which I'm gonna fucking grind my ass off to get. Because being in a deficit, you gotta keep lifting as heavy as possible to maintain the muscle. So I'm gonna jump on the wall. I'll probably pick this up like a little later. Probably around my 240, I'll pick it up. So you guys know how I feel and everything like that. And then we'll get into it and grind it out. And then finish my four by 12. So I'm 
my top side 240. 225 felt decent. It's just like with this rack, where I put the uh, arms that hold the bar up, it's like in the shittiest spot. I feel like it's too low for me to unrack it by myself comfortably and not exert a lot of energy. But if I move it up, it's too fucking high for me to re-rack it. I almost die every time, so I just have to deal with it. I'm gonna have Dylan spot me, and then hopefully, not hopefully, I'm gonna grind it out to 245. It will be a PR. I've only hit 235 for five, never 240. And yeah, I'm fucking starving. I can really feel my energy levels. Like I can actually feel the difference on my cuts making finally. I'm starting to finally feel flat. I thought I was gonna do pretty good with it, but I'm not. So yeah, I'm gonna jump into this 240 for five. Hopefully grind it out. If not, whatever, no big deal. And then four by 12 with 180. So that 240 went up relatively easy for the first four reps, and then the last one was kind of a grinder, but still managed to do it. Glutes on and everything, that's a huge PR. Now we have a four by 12 with 180, which looks ugly as shit on the bar, like I said in the last video. It's gonna absolutely suck dick. I'm gonna be dead after this, but gotta get my bench up, gotta keep lifting heavy. So yeah, let me jump into this, and then I'll pick it up. Probably like two or three sets in. So second set of 12, not too bad. I really hope I'm doing 12 because I lose count like mid-set because I'm fucking retarded. But I'm only gonna do three sets of 12 just for time's sake because the gym closes in an hour already and I haven't started hyperextreme. I'm trying to get pictures, thumbnail, posing footage in the locker room and like a bunch of shit to do. Only have an hour, so I'm only gonna do one more set of 12 and call it there. And then I'll pick this video back up probably after the last set and then I'll let you, know, let you guys know what I'm gonna do with the hyperextreme part of the video. So that's gonna do it for the bench part of the video. Now I'm gonna move into hypertrophy and I'm making an edit today. I haven't made one in like a decently amount of time. So I'm gonna hopefully, hopefully be able to get enough footage because I have like 40 minutes to do hypertrophy, get pictures and all that stuff. So I'm gonna have to rush it, which is the biggest deal because it is already eight o'clock almost, which is when I should be like home eating my fucking last meal of the day. But I lift late as shit and get home at like one in the morning every day. So gotta deal with it. So yeah, I'm gonna hop on high perch fee, film and edit, pick this video back up, probably in the locker room after lift or just in my car at home.
right, so that's gonna do it for the video. Um, been home for a couple hours, ate my last meal, which is just the same thing as last time. I showed you guys in the full day of eating, but I know the video wasn't, the workout edit probably wasn't too long, and that's because I literally ran out of time. Like, to be able to get my cardio in, I had to like do hypertrophy in like 25 minutes to 30 minutes, which is which is really hard for me because I didn't get to do like everything I wanted, but gotta deal with it. Just gotta get through everything and do my cardio, made sure that was my priority. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. Make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe, and I'm also gonna do a and a probably in like the next couple videos. So definitely comment down below if you want to do that and comment any questions you guys have, literally anything at all. Also comment on my Instagram, I'll put a post up soon about that. Links in the description below, follow me there, subscribe, like, comment, I'm out, peace, later, bye.